Hello, my name is Adrian Stevens. In this video we're going to look at the Replay Gain plugin for Audacity that LibriVox volunteers use to adjust the volume of their recordings to a consistent level. We can go to a LibriVox forum site and download the plugin and install it. That's what we're going to do now. The site shown on the screen now is a LibriVox wiki page. I'll put a link to this page in the description and it contains instructions that we're going to follow shortly. It also contains a link to the plugin. We can download the plugin using the link shown here. So I'll click on that and do save link as and put it in an otherwise empty directory on my desktop. So we now have the file here. And what we need to do is to find our program directory. So starting with this PC, we have a Windows 10 OS disk, which is where the programs are. Open that. I'm next going to open Program Files x86 and here's Audacity, open that and there's plugins. So we can have a look we see that Replay Gain is not there. Let's open Audacity and look at the effect list and Replay Gain is not in that list. Close Audacity We'll drag the replay gain file into this directory. It's requiring an administrator permissions because we're writing into the, the uh, program files directory. So I hit continue. Okay, we can now lose that directory. We can lose that window. Well, let's see what Audacity says. Okay, effect. Right, there's nothing there at the moment, so let's uh, click on Add Remove Plugins and scroll down to Replay Gain. You see that it's initially disabled, so we're going to select that, hit Enable, OK, and now it's on our list. It's greyed out because we haven't got a recording here yet. OK, so let's make a recording and use it. I'm going to use my Lavalier microphone, which is the one selected, AK5371. And I'm going to make a recording and I'm going to give it a lowish gain. Let's click to start monitoring. You see it's way too low. From previous video, I said that we should aim for about minus six, which is about full scale, but I'm not going to do that. Give it a lower value so it can show the plugin in use. Testing, testing, one, two, three, four. One of these days I'm going to have to learn something more interesting to say. Right, from our previous video, um, I said that we are aiming to hit about 0 0.5 on this scale, and if we were doing this manually, um, we could normalize it to uh, minus 6 dBs, which is 0.5. Replay gain uh, does the equivalent of that, but it means we don't even need to know about the 6 dBs. We just follow, use the defaults. So I selected the track, I've selected effect replay gain, accept the defaults, hit the OK button, and you can see that it's now scaled it so that the peaks are roughly in the range 0.5, but there are louder bits which exceed that, but they don't clip. So replay, replay Gain, I think, uses some intelligence to balance between volume and not introducing clipping. So let's hear what that sounds like. Testing, testing, one, two, three, four. OK, um, that's a volume level that's perfectly acceptable. 
Now let's export this file as mp3 and let's stick it on the desktop, call it untitled, why not? Drag it up onto this desktop. Let's run the checker program and move the checker program up onto this desktop here. We could drag the file into the top pane of the checker and the it's complained about a lack of an underscore okay it's also said there's a high level of background noise now one of the issues with this microphone it's a very cheap and nasty microphone and if i switch to waveform db you could see that there's quite a lot of noise in it uh, i have a separate video that shows how to do noise reduction and the effects of doing noise reduction on this microphone but let's look at the information. The volume is 88.9 dBs. The valid range is for LibriVox is between 86 and 92. So this is somewhere in the middle of that range, which is good. That's what it's aiming at. Background noise 62 dB. That's why it complained. Well, I hope you found this video helpful. In my next video, we'll look at performance and volume level. If you like this, please uh, give me a thumbs up and goodbye.